For this tutorial, I will demonstrate how to use the visual tools provided in Pure Genomics to facilitate a conversation that's relatable, meaningful, and empowering. I will also give tips to successfully integrate Pure Genomics into your practice workflow. Genetics can be intimidating for both the provider and the patient. How do providers interpret and prioritize information provided on a nutrigenomics report and communicate the information so it's not intimidating or makes patients feel genetically flawed? Throughout this tutorial, you will hear me use trait language rather than the SNPs. Some patients will know MTHFR. However, hearing TCF7L2 BCM01, GSTP1 will be a foreign language. The trait language, glucose metabolism, vitamin A, environmental toxins are much more relatable and meaningful to a patient. The education level of your patients regarding genomics will likely be variable. It is important to establish basic understanding of genomics with each patient before you begin to explain their report. As the business integration advisor for Pure Genomics, I have a Nutrigenomics patient scripts and workflow integration models free PDF download on my website, carawarecoaching.com backslash Nutrigenomics for you to use. When starting a patient encounter, make sure the patient has their patient report printed so as to take notes during your consultation. Pure Genomics provides the patient their version of the report since it is data they have already purchased. The patient report does not include supplement or lab recommendations. The Pure Genomics platform has two visual tools that are excellent to facilitate your conversation so the information is not intimidating. The two visual tools are the trait category grid drop down list on the patient's dashboard and the trait and trait category infographic on either the practitioner or the patient's PDF report. The first step in addressing your patient's top concerns is knowing where to look first in the report. So say your patient's top objectives are mood and weight management. Let the patient know the first step to addressing these top objectives is to understand their nutritional gaps within the vitamins, minerals, and omega-3 category. Making sure these key nutrients are at optimal levels set the stage for more advanced interventions to be successful. After the vitamin, mineral, omega-3 category, then assess any variance within the cognitive health and memory category, and then the weight management category to identify genetic underpinnings that may be contributing to their top objectives. If a patient is struggling with mood and there are indeed risk variants like this patient, then it's comforting for the patient to hear from you, hey, this is not a lack of willpower to feel good. You have honest genetic predispositions which may be contributing to the expression of your top objectives. The good news? We can order labs to help determine whether you need specialized support in these areas, and if so, we can determine what supplements might help and select the diet and lifestyle changes that are reasonable for you to begin implementing, and we can follow your progress. Another visual tool that some providers like to use in a patient encounter are the diagrams. It's important to note the exclamation points that indicate a consider action are patient specific. Before moving on, check back in with your patient and ask what they heard. That way you can help fill in any information gap so the patient fully comprehends the information you are sharing. Next, review the new optimized diet and lifestyle recommendations. These suggestions are now organized similar to a functional medicine lifestyle prescription and are consolidated in a convenient new lifestyle recommendation summary that is presented in an easy to understand format. If you elect to use the SMART questionnaire, then the diet and lifestyle recommendations will be further personalized. If the patient completed the SMART questionnaire, you can point out this patient detail section. This section documents the patient's current plan. 
In these diet and lifestyle sections, you can make personalized recommendations you feel are essential components to the patient's comprehensive plan. Remember to check in with a patient and ask which modifications do they have sufficient motivation, inspiration, and are within their perceived current ability to implement over the next three months or until their next follow-up appointment. We all know What really drives the needle in functional medicine is how well our patients can implement the diet and lifestyle recommendations. Be sure to point out the I next to the recommendations to have the patients connect how the lifestyle modifications possibly influences the SNP or genetic variant being addressed. This is why genetics are not our destiny. We now know the recommendations to bypass these common polymorphisms to help promote healthy physiology. The genetic report is an excellent source of inspiration for the modifiable lifestyle changes. It's important to check in with the patient regularly and hear their thoughts and priorities and motivation and perceived current ability about the recommended modifiable changes. These coaching skills help co-create a reasonable, livable, and most importantly, sustainable plan. And then finally, you can recommend the labs that you need to order to investigate further and discuss possible supplement recommendations. A suggestion is to add in to your practice workflow scheduled times to review these filters. Sign up pending, not reviewed, no data. For example, on designated Fridays, either you or your support staff view the list of patients who still need to register. Are those reports ready for you to review? Are those patients who still need to upload data? The following Monday, You or your support staff call patients to help them complete their data, upload, or their questionnaire, or to schedule a follow-up encounter to review their report. Once prospective patients see the value you are bringing and connect with your philosophy of healing and bedside manner, chances are promising they will be ready for a deeper financial and emotional commitment and convert to becoming a new patient. Remember, Genetic variants aren't good or bad. It's the environment in which they're interplaying with. And this is gold when it comes to inspiring patients to successfully implement the diet and lifestyle recommendations. The genomics report is the roadmap to know how to work with rather than against the patient's blueprint. This is an invaluable tool in your toolbox to personalize the modifiable lifestyle recommendations for each patient. So now that you're familiar with Pure Genomics reports and dashboard and how the platform can streamline personalization, you're ready to unlock the power of nutrigenomics and help your patients understand the relationship between their genes, their nutrition, and their wellness. And that's the science of it.